Hello guys out there. I just wanted to let you know I am currently without a phone at the moment, so I won't be able to do any like YouTube editing or anything at the moment. But um to keep you happy, I got something here for you. Um the Grinch trailer just came out the third one, and I'm trying to keep up with um, not having a phone and everything, so I won't be able to do much editing here, so, um, I'm gonna do a reaction video to the review of this, and, um, if I, if you guys end up liking this, I'll do it again with another movie trailer. Um, uh, alright, let's get into this. This is for the third Grinch trailer. Now, I've watched the first and the second one, but this is the third one, so, uh, and it's got Benedict Cumberbatch in it. Um, I guess it's going to be a good movie. I mean, I'm still I'm still fond of Jim Carrey's film, but um, and Boris Karloff's animated film was amazing. So uh, we'll see what Benedict can bring to the table. All right, let's get into this. Oh, I love that. It's the uh, Dracula music. That's beautiful. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so cute and innocent. I think I'm giving the reaction um, well, from what I feel like it's going to be like. It, I give it a B so far out of, you know, a letter grade. I, I've never done this before, so I'd probably give it a B um, because they're adding so much things to the story. Like, they're not sticking to original um, thought and everything with the original book. But I understand you gotta fill in some filler and stuff in there. Like, you never know, like, what happened to the Grinch. I mean, I know Dr. Seuss didn't write it in the book saying, oh, he was an orphan, and oh, the, the Who's make a big celebration, big deal out of it. I mean, we all knew that they love Christmas a lot, but we didn't really understand how much. Like, this is... Like, Silence of the Lambs obsessed with Christmas kind of deal. And that's how I feel about it. So, uh, overall, I think it will be a good movie. Um, I'm going to stay cautiously optimistic still. Because there are a few things that bug me. Like, they introduce these new characters like that 
that fat beer thing that he had there. And he was sucking whipped cream through his nose. I just don't get it. I mean, I mean, I understand you got to be childish for the kids nowadays. Because I remember back in the 90s, you had some cartoon movies that were a little... Eh, but, in all, it'll be good for the kids. I mean, I think I'll like it too. There might be a little nostalgia in it. You never know. Alright, if you like this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.